A very good evening to all our viewers. Thank you for joining us on this Sunday's edition of uh, The Agenda. My name is Taiwan Jabala, your host. Tonight uh, we are reflecting on one issue that, uh, you know, got people speaking all week, and that was uh, the sentencing of five affirmative repositioning movement activists to jail terms, of course, with an alternative for a fine after what is perceived to have been a violation of uh, uh, COVID-19 <laughs> regulations uh, in 2020. I'm joined by, the, by two of the five men, and that is uh, Eliphas uh, Domoka, as well as uh, Sam David. Gentlemen, thank you for coming to uh, the studio. Thank you so much. Yeah, you. wonderful. Yeah. We'll, we'll start with you, Eliphas. What, what happened on the 8th of April, 2020? Uh, well, thank you so much for the question. Yeah, you see, uh, as an activist, uh, it's part of the community. What happens on the 8th of um, April, 2020, yeah. it was part of what we normally do every now and then to, to go in the community and, of course, look at what what is that that can be done because we are servant of the of the people mm. so what happened is that uh, the we identified one of the men who was really struggling yeah. and uh, the shack where he was living in was um, unbearable so mm. which is inhuman for one to live in mm. so what we did is that we took that day the 8th of um, of april to at least put resources together we've asked for many people to come on board mm. uh, so that at least we make sure that this uh, particular man uh, does not continue to live in that kind of situation mm. and um, uh, because number one this man is uh, mental disturbed he, he's not so well so we f f say to ourselves it cannot be correct just because he's like he's mentally disturbed or he's not so well that we should just let the, him live like that so what we did on that day we came together uh, with the uh, uh, and also um, uh, people came to help mm. uh, from the neighbors to put up a proper structure mm. so that this man is also counted in our society and uh, lives better. Mm. So when we were busy doing that, um, what happened is that um, uh, the police later came mm. uh, because they saw that there were a number of people gathering. They came to find out what is happening. Mm. Uh, normally what happens is that when the police comes to, uh, to such an incident where there is probably a shack being set up, mm. they would go to the owner of mm. the shack mm. but that did not happen because when we when we showed them that this is the gentleman whose shacks we are trying to make proper mm. they could not believe that uh, a, a person like that deserve better mm. so they, they they say no there's no way that uh, they same there's a person living in there you know later on they could uh, they understood but then they still insisted that we should go to the police mm. and but they, because they could not arrest the the, the owner of the shack mm. so they then say no we should go because he was he's not in a mental stable and he cannot be in a conversation with so we then went to the police and um, what happened is that later on uh, we were locked up mm. you know we were locked up just for doing good in society mm. for assisting that particular man who was living in a situation that we think that it's not hi in, uh, 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 humane mm. and uh, we're just doing it for, 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 for the goodness of, 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 of this particular man. Mm. Indeed. Yeah. Sam, the, you know, was it um, an act of defiance that, you know, there are COVID regulations but we don't care uh, or was it really a genuine case of just having a situation in the community and you decided, no, but this cannot be correct? Or were you just daring the authority? Yeah, well, um, to look at the case happened, uh, um, I could tell really that it was not really a case of defying the rules of law, like contravening the, the state of emergency. It's just mm. uh, one of the things that I can count on is that we have been already on the ground as a communist activist and we have been doing all our best to help the communities. We have a lot of activity that have been happening there. Mm. And uh, so it happened at the time also, at the critical time that uh, the city of Windhoek, I mean the city police were busy, demolitions, uh, people shacks, and mm. they, were, uh, they have put up even security guard to control the whole areas that no one to be seen. Um, electing uh, structures mm. but then um, 
this event that we were doing or this particular activity that we we're doing is something that was uh, officially uh, informed mm -hmm. even to um, to the um, honorable councillors in he knew about, we informed him about what is going to happen. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, the second thing is that that was not only the first sack that we have elected for, for a community member as to help mm -hmm. the homeless uh, people in the communities. So uh, to my understanding is, uh, if I can remember very well, um, this happened uh, after, uh, on the 13th of March, we um, consulted the chief of city of uh, of city police, mm -hmm. and we um, inquire about why they are demolishing the the people's shacks, mm -hmm. and he could not even answer us. Mm -hmm. What he did is just to chase us out of his office because he has no answer to our questions. Mm -hmm. uh, this follows to the event that we were also um, on the fifth of ap uh, April. Mm -hmm. We, we were called by one of the community members uh, that he was stopped mm. to rebuild his shack, mm. which was burned to ashes. And now uh, this is a husband with a wife mm. and children. This particular person has no place to, to sleep, nowhere to stay. Mm. But when, when he called again the chief, uh, he said, no, um, the, the the husband have just, or the men have just wait mm -hmm. after the lockdown. Uh, then we said, wait, this person is going to sleep now. Mm -hmm. So after then we left that pe uh, that particular place, we were informed that the street police officers came there. Then we rushed back to that place. We found them and uh, one of them uh, that reported us to the police on that on the 8th mm -hmm. shouted at us saying, um, no, we were, already briefed about you guys, you are um, blocking the, the work of uh, the police in the, in the area, you know. So it, it could easily tell that it's something that was planned. It's not only the matter of event of what we were doing, mm -hmm. but it's just because there was that already uh, cause that mm -hmm. of what we are doing in the community. And that is what I believe brought us to that arrest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, in your case, Eliphas, um, I mean, I think I'm, I'm speaking to you for the second time. You mm -hmm. came to the evening review yeah. uh, in 2020 uh, as a candidate for uh, Samara Marshall cons constituency, mm -hmm. uh, candidate for the position of councillor. And when we did that interview, a lot of people were commenting on our Facebook page that day, you know, saying, a lot of positive things about you. you. You seem to be well known within your community. Uh, your work seems to speak for itself. So on that particular day, uh, you, you you must have been confronted with, a, with two um, predicaments. Uh, one is the law, uh, as, as, as far as those regulations were concerned. Another one was your, your civic duty. Uh, were you sort of rambling with that question and then decided to say, look, I have a civic duty here and therefore I have to assist, or how, how do you describe the, the decision? You know, well, uh, we, <coughs> we are law-abiding citizens. We, we do understand the law and we, we, we try by all means mm. to make sure that uh, we, we, we are on the good side of the law. But there are certain things that unfortunately cannot wait mm. you know things like um, what happened on that particular day we were just trying to make sure that this man because it's also in our in our constitution mm. you know right to housing or people are supposed to live uh, to live to live in a, in a dignified manner mm. so when you look at that and then you look at the regulation so there are certain things that can wait things like um, the birthday Mm. that uh, the sober party celebrated it could have waited mm. but somebody living in that particular situation you you don't want them to continue suffering because then you always live live with that guilt mm. in you that how 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 can i be sleeping peacefully mm. when the rain is coming when somebody's sleeping out there in the cold so but we as activists we have that um, responsibility to to always then say okay fine here is the law how do we assist um, our people how do we then try to to bring a balance mm. you know and, and it's exactly why we continue to go on. Mm. 
mm. you know, knowing very well that there are certain laws that are not so applicable mm. to, to the people's situation. Because we do understand, we understand the people's situation. I live with the people. I see how, th what they go through every day. When the laws are, b are brought up, sometimes not very few people uh, are from the, from the informal settlement. So yeah. some of the laws that are made are not so conducive mm. to the people's situation. Uh, I remember there was even a law that people are not supposed to be moving up and down. You're supposed to be in your house. Mm. But in the informal settlement, where the water tap mm. is not in your house, mm. you, you, you obviously have to move. Where the toilet is not in your house. Mm. You know, there was, a, there was a case where uh, a soldier uh, was asking somebody, where are you coming from? But the person went to the bush to relieve themselves. Mm. So, but because there's a regulation that says, the movement of people is limited. You are not supposed to, to be moving up and down. So we are trying to see how do we then bring a balance. Mm. Humanity come first before many other things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Indeed. So um, Sam um, um, Eliphas alluded to, because exactly just a week later, mm -hmm. I think on the 19th, you guys were arrested on the 8th of, of April. On the 19th of April, uh, Swapo held its uh, <laughs> birthday come together. Yeah, yeah. And um, I'm told there were more than 20 people there. The president was there, the vice president was there, so the speaker of the National Assembly was there, uh, former president Pohamba was there, uh, security for all the three pres uh, two presidents and others. So apparently it had a lot of people, I mean, it was in the papers, and the police said they were going to investigate. The Sebastian De Tunga, the police chief, said uh, they are taking statements. Mm. We never came to see anything come out of that. Do you think, do you sometimes compare these two things, what you went through and what those guys went through uh, and, and, and maybe think why you were not treated the same? Exactly, um, I have that as a comparison in my mind that mm. um, looking at that, uh, so to say, we were contravening the state of emergency. Mm. Um, just because we were helping someone that was really in need. And everyone who was there could tell, even the chief inspectors that were there, they could tell the, the true story that the person was really in need. Mm. Okay, just after that we were arrested. The same event happened, uh, like as, as you mentioned. Uh, um, uh, to me, I can put it, maybe those are untouchable, like you stated in your newspaper, and we are the touchable. But mm. but before the law, there's no one who is big and no one that's small. Mm -hmm. We are all the same yeah, and before the law. Um, like I said, um, it's not really that we contravened the law. Mm. Yet we can take it that, yes, we, uh, we exceeded a number of 10, but our aim was just to help that particular person. Mm. But then these people had been already looking for a reason to arrest us. To teach you a lesson. Yeah. Mm. And <laughs> maybe they think in their mind that was the way to stop us mm. from what we are doing. Mm. But we take people at heart, mm. not in our mind. Mm -hmm. We take people at our heart, and whenever we are moving in the community, we are always having uh, killing people at um, at our heart. Instead of appreciating what we are doing in the community, mm -hmm. they are trying to threaten us. Like when we are chased out of the office, we are already threatened to be arrested. So mm -hmm. we could tell you that the reason behind was to make sure that they have stopped us. Mm -hmm. So if they could do that to us, why could they do it the same to the untouchable mm. one? Mm -hmm. So, uh, so, so Elifas, in that case, then mm. do you do you concur? Do you think? Because what what I find uh, very unprecedented is mm. the fact that um, uh, no one else in this country that we, we know that there has been a lot mm -hmm. of violations. Forget about the swap of birthday party for, for a minute. All over the country. People were found uh, selling alcohol. People were found hiding alcohol. Um, there was videos of uh, people's tombo uh, being poured out in the villages. People had to dig 
holes to hide <laughs> their, yes. their containers of, of mm. tombo, mm -hmm. uh, which I think, of course, maybe it points to how much we love alcohol as Namibians, but also there's an economic uh, uh, reason to that. People cannot strive, cannot survive without that one dollar or five dollar that mm. comes from the jug, mm. or the jug of tombo. But it looks as if you, the AR5, are the only people that eventually got to the point of being actually sentenced to jail. There were a lot of other people charged here and there, but you guys were jailed, were sentenced to jail. The closest case that I remember mm. of somebody that went to jail was of a guy that we've repo been reporting about in Namibian Sun, a student doctor who was going to Zambia uh, for studies and forged COVID-19 results, uh, test results. Uh, and then, of course, he was sentenced uh, to, to two years in jail. Mm -hmm. But that was not for the violation of COVID-19 at all. It just, it's a forgery, forgery, yeah. forgery case. Do you think uh, that it's coincidence that somehow it's only the AR-5, as they are called now, that ended up uh, being jailed or sentenced to jail? Uh, well, Toivo, um, like same earlier said that uh, how these things have been happening, we've been seeing already the direction as to, to, to where things are moving. Mm. Uh, you know, one of the funniest things uh, when we're in court um, is that the, the judge and the magistrate uh, even say to a point that no, um, we are in court and we're not even putting on a mask, even after the president Few few weeks ago, I think last week, mm. said that uh, you can now be. It's no longer mandatory for one to, to put on them, but but a magistrate would have to go back and single us mm. out of so many people in court and say, why are you not wearing masks? So you could already see that the system is is, is, is trying to suppress us mm. to make sure that we do not um, have a space in this mm. country. But we believe that this is our country. We have a responsibility to contribute. Uh, that which we, we, the gift that we have. Mm. And of course, it is very unfortunate that uh, some such incidents are happening, but we are determined to continue fighting for our people. Uh, and not even some of these, um, you know, things that will stop us from, from doing what we have to do. Because we know um, what is then are we supposed to be, to be mm. living for, to, to, to just then see people suffer, to, to, to just then, uh, because those who have the power can can do what they can do. But just imagine if those with the power, mm. with the money and with the with the influence mm. can use that to help our society. Mm. Uh, some of these cases we're not going to be to, 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 be, to, 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 to be even going on. Mm. You know, looking looking at the resources that our country have and so much is really in the hands of the few. Uh, it's because of how people want to continue eating and when there are those who are trying to challenge the system and say, look can you not look at the other people mm. who, who, are, who are there suffering? So what we are trying to do, and we we'll continue to do, is to always stand up for our people. And of course, uh, we know a lot of people have done the same. Uh, some of the things are even much bigger. Mm. But our, 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 our laws, and not, not all, they don't always look at the circumstances mm. of what really happened when this person ended up being on something like that. And then if you look at it, uh, it's like you driving, you are a driver. And then what happens that on that particular day when you are driving, you saw that there's a child in front. So what you do as a driver, you have to park, mm. you know, you have to stop your, your, your car, even where it's, it's restricted from, 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 from stopping, mm. because you know there's a child trying to close and it's probably a small child crawling on, mm. on, on, on the road. You, you stop the car and then you go and remove the child. Mm. So after that, the police comes and then give you a fine mm. for stopping where it's a, at a restricted point. <laughs> so, but what you, what you have done is something genuine. Mm. It's, it's, it's a noble thing that we have done. Mm. Uh, but the law does not look at that. They just look at the fact that you stop at the restricted zone and then you have to go and explain yourself later. Those are some of the things that we have to live with. But uh, doing what is good, what is noble, uh, we think that uh, if, we, if it means that we must be punished for doing good in society, mm. I think we'll be punished many times. And we are prepared, even if somebody is suffering again tomorrow and they need help, we'll be going to them and assist them. Mm. Before we go for uh, a quick break, uh, Sam, the 
Oh, what can you tell us about uh, the state of that project now? Where, where is, did, were you able to eventually carry out that, uh, that project uh, of, of, of fixing the men's house? Is it now better than it was, or were you completely defeated so much that you couldn't continue anymore? Uh, yeah, uh, before I answer your, your question, yes. I just want to add a little sure. bit about what uh, um, Alpha said. Um, looking at the, the, um, the state of emergence implement, implementation when it started, mm. um, okay, we might be looked that we contravened that particular law yeah. of gathering together mm. uh, with a number of 11 people that were helping um, that particular person. There's a lot of cases and a lot of things that happened mm. that involved even police officers to contravene and or to, to, break, to break the law at some certain point. Mm. Uh, looking at 11 people that were just gathering around there, there could be a family of um, 20 people mm. in a house. Like I remember uh, at our house back in the north, we, we are more than 20. Mm. But in that state emergence, we are just living in one house. Mm. So the, the whole process is, is not really um, to, to say um, they are stopping COVID, the spread of COVID. But it's just that because that was the first time the law was implemented or this lockdown too mm. has been happening in our country. Even the, the, the carrier of the law or the, 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 the law enforcement, mm. we're not really taking things according to the law. Mm. Yeah, because you cannot tell me that you are trying to protect the law or enforcing the law and you are um, stopping people from gathering together uh, more than 10 but when you are throwing us in a in a in a, in a, in a car the, the police cars mm -hmm. you are throwing more than you know mm. crowding people and in the community that we are living we are people they they, they fetch water from a tap mm. you find a crowd of people gathering there mm. fetching water more than 20 okay mm. that uh, that the law said people should be 10. Mm. But then they were just looking at some other things and leave other things. Mm -hmm. Okay, so which is not fair. Yeah. Yeah. So um, back to your question is that I believe in this statement saying um, you may not know the lizard that will come yeah. after, but if you do nothing, if you are standing or sitting somewhere, they're doing nothing. Yeah. There's no result that, no result that will come. Mm -hmm. So our beliefs was and was and will continue to stand for what is right, mm. not in the sight of the president or whoever, mm. but in the sight face of God, and in the sight of the nation. Mm -hmm. We know there sh they, they should be always injustice. Yeah. There should be always justice, mm. and we cannot stand for injustice. We have to stand always for the justice. Mm. That is what we are fighting for. Mm -hmm. They tried what they tried, but they never defeated us. Yeah, yeah. Hold, hold, mm. hold that thought for me, um, 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 Sam. Uh, I think you've made your point. We'll go for a quick break, and then we we'll yeah. return.
We continue with uh, Eliphaz and Sam. Uh, gentlemen, I'll start with Eliphaz. Mm -hmm. As we speak now, you are convicted criminals uh, on paper. What does what effect does this have on your on your lives? I mean, uh, you would have now to when you are looking for jobs or you want to go study abroad and, and do your PhD or whatever, and people look at this. Uh, what impact do you think this will have on your lives? Well, um, we, we do understand that uh, that is what happened. Uh, I do understand personally that uh, uh, th there will be consequences and, and effects, of course, of, of this. But uh, uh, that does not stop uh, uh, what I still plan to do in life. And of course, um, this is, I, 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 the, the, setting, the, the law is very clear also in terms of uh, when one has been sentenced, uh, of course, it, it goes further. Was it just a direct sentence to, 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 to prison or was it with an option of, um, of a fine? So in, the, in this case, you, 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 you could see that it, 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 it's even, the, even the, the, the magistrate look at it in that way mm -hmm. uh, to say fine, there's, there's, there's an option of fine, which means uh, opportunities um, that as young people, because we still have a longer uh, you know, period ahead of us. Mm. Uh, it's not, of course, it's up to God now who will decide <laughs> for how long we are going to live. But as young <laughs> people, we know yeah. that um, we will live for for much longer time. But um, now, living with this, what is p at the back of my mind is that I've been punished for doing what is good in society, mm. and uh, I think I will still continue to do good. Mm. I don't know how many. <laughs> type of these things mm. will be coming because I don't I intend to do anything, uh, any, anything that is um, bad to anyone. Mm. Uh, but of course, if, 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 if it means that we should then start doing wrong things for so that we don't end up on this other side, then I think I'll still choose mm. to, do, to, to do the right thing, uh, to do the good in society, doing good, uh, fashionable in society. Mm. So this is what will, ne will, 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 will never stop because um, this what is deep in our heart, mm. in my heart, I, I, I wake up and of course think that, okay, fine, uh, this is still what I have to do. This is still the responsibility that is upon my shoulder. So we will continue to fight and of course um, there are many other ways that we can be able to, to still find ways how we can be able to make um, this lighter. But uh, of course, I know I'm not convicted. Uh, I'm not a convicted criminal. I did not rape somebody. I did not steal somebody's thing. So I've done something which is noble. Mm. And uh, this is something that we, we can still go and challenge that. Yes, it's, 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 it's because anyway, anytime when the system wants certain things to be done, they can still find ways to still maneuver through. But of course, uh, we hope that um, with time, we are going to continue and understand that this is the kind, this is the new normal, this is the new life mm -hmm. th that we should live with, uh, with this type of conditions yeah. uh, that are there. But they, they will not stop us from living. We have this one life to live. Mm -hmm. we, we live it as it is. We can't then be comparing and looking back, and knowing, okay, fine, now I can't do this and all that. We'll understand and live accordingly mm. to, to, to the current uh, new normals. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and Sam, w we've had, um, again, look, for me, it's easy for people to say, if, if, you, if you make time and read my editorial in uh, Namibian Sun's, uh, in Namibian Sun for Friday, I've argued that you gentlemen have paid a heavy price. And people think maybe $300, $300 is not a heavy price. 10 days in jail is not a heavy price. But the burden, the, the dark spot that is being left on your, on your criminal record as an individual, mm -hmm. yeah, that is the, the heavier price than all these uh, uh, trivial things. We've had people in this country who have been convicted of corruption. Ministers, custodians of national resources. Mm. They just got uh, suspended. Uh, they were never uh, sentenced 
to jail uh, as such. I mean, they had options to just pay and, 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 and leave. Of course, you also had an option to, to pay. But it was to assist that old man, that mentally ill man, to assist him in that regard. Where do you find the courage to still fight on when you seemingly are fighting a, a David versus Goliath battle? You, as a very small time uh, but spirited activist, up against a government and a very powerful government and political system. Where do you find that courage to say, look, I'm up against all these odds, but I'll still carry on? Well, um, it's a good question. I, li I like that question because it brought me to the point of what I always advocate in my whole life. Um, they have convicted me as a criminal to say I have contravened uh, uh, the state of emergency and um, but to me that you only defiled my name yeah. but not my life mm. okay so I can still move on with my life and doing what I am I'm supposed to do mm. when I'm on earth I used to tell people that uh, people should leave the originalities of their ordinances mm. meaning that each and everybody has got a purpose to live on earth mm. so and that what motivates me always to live for my purpose to accomplish my purpose mm. so whether life could take me on the other side I will never lose out of my vision of what I want to do. Mm. So I will keep on because that is born with me. Mm. That, that, th that motivation is always bubbling inside me. Yeah. Whenever I see situation, I still want to put my hand. Mm. Either here or wherever, I'm still going to do that. Mm. Because I always want to see the good lizard mm. out of that situation. Mm. That's all. Indeed. Um, uh, Eliphaz, uh, uh, is there any stage in your life mm -hmm. where you go to bed? Because activism <coughs> in post-independent Namib independence, Namib independence Namibia is a pretty new concept. There used to be a lot of acti activism before independence. People fighting against apartheid and, mm -hmm. and, and, and r racial discrimination and all those kind of things. Mm -hmm. But once we attained our independence, activism sort of cooled off. So uh, you are sort of the first generation again, again that are reviving the spirit of activism. And I suppose because it's such a, ne a new concept in the post-independent Namibia, um, you guys go through a lot. You get called names. You got, you you get uh, condemned. Uh, I'm sure even in families, uh, because when you're coming from the north, where we come from, mm -hmm. where it's a predominantly Swapo uh, stronghold, if, you are, if family members or friends hear that you are defying government policies on, on the basis of principles, certain principles, or that you are opposed to Swapo in some way, you get in real trouble. Uh, things get said about you. Do you some, is there any time when you wake up in the middle of the night and say, but what am I doing to myself? Why am I carrying on with this activism thing? Why can't I just go back to the elephants of old and just be a normal guy, like regretting or anything? <laughs> well, uh, for, for that, I think it's, it's, it's too late, uh, you know, too late in the sense that um, when you have started something, you, you have to, to, to finish what you've started. Mm. Uh, you don't just stop there, then you have not, uh, unless we have achieved, we have not yet as a generation achieved uh, what we want to achieve. Mm. We want a just society. We want a society that uh, is able to then have dignity for all our people. You know, all our people should be able to have access to all the resources that we have in this country. You know, it's, it's, it's very pity that uh, uh, in a country with so much resources, mm. 
that we st we now have to f to fight for so much, which is in the hands of the few. Yeah. Uh, but if these things, you know, could be resolved, uh, then uh, I, 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 of course that would be probably we will not have anything else to fight for. But for as long as there is injustice, mm. we will always stand up and say we want justice for our people. Even in the apartheid era, mm. there were people who stood up and said this is not right. Mm. And they were arrested, they were sentenced to jail. So because of s the type of um, systems or the type of um, uh, uh, you know, practice that are there. So mm. you don't necessarily just decide to be an activist. It's because of the situations. Mm. It's because of how people are living. It's because of all these things. Then you, you, you look at yourself that even if I'm living a better life, or even if I stop doing A, B, C, D. Mm. Uh, you know, I believe that doing nothing will change nothing. Mm. There is so much that have, 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 have changed in this country because of us who stood up. Of course, we might not be the one benefiting directly. Of course, mm. we might not be the immediate benefiters of, of these things. We, we believe that, uh, of course, our children must come and should be able to live a better life because we've, we've at least started a fight mm. and we know that uh, uh, our lives will then continue to to, 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 to to live in the lives of those who come and of course take up the struggle uh, when but we believe that uh, to fight on we must continue to fight on and we'll only stop when we've achieved that which we, we, we want to achieve and that is a, a just society. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the reasons why I, 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 I'm a legal student, mm -hmm. you know, studying law because we want to make sure that we also challenge the legal fraternity mm -hmm. of, of this country to make sure that uh, we change some of the laws because most of the time when the laws are made, they are not really done in, 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 in consultation of all the stakeholders. Mm -hmm. people, people in the informal settlement are never called and asked that, okay, fine, this law that we are, we are planning to, to come up, you just hear the president is on, on radio, or the minister of finance is on, on TV, mm -hmm. that now there's this new regulation. Yeah. But then they, nobody, they, there's, there's really a big gap mm -hmm. on, the, on the reality on the ground and the law. So that's why you find there will always be those who will, who, who will break such kind of things because of the impossibility mm -hmm. of how the, 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 that particular law was structured. So we continue to, to, to fight even as the system is this hard on us. Mm. We know one day is one day when things are going to be better. Yeah. Uh, before we go for the last break, um, uh, uh, Sam, um, maybe to, the, to go back to the last question that I asked you before the previous break about the status of that check now. What, what is the status? Um, uh, uh, last time, um, I think last month, I managed to visit the house of... Uh, our friends, uh, Albino and Jabba, mm. uh, is still in a good condition and is still fine and very happy to live in his new home. Mm -hmm. So, and it, and to see that happiness on his face, mm. it gives us more braveness that we have done something that is good. Mm. Uh, that is only not the house, like I said, that we did. We also um, build a shack for Miss Anna, Dakoka, so she's also uh, happy in her home uh, with the children. Mm. So it gives us courage. So and um, just to add a few uh, about what the Alifa said, mm. um, our main aim is to challenge the dynamic of the usuality. Mm. Um, since the independence, people were just that cottage of visuality that no, this is how things are happening in our country. Mm -hmm. There's no challenge, there's no new system that are coming. Uh, and of course, young people were just following. Mm. Okay, that's why I believe also that a great mind has always purpose. Yeah. And you cannot read great mind with whatever, you, with whatever way you want them to go. Yeah. Okay, if I have a great mind, if I have a vision, so, and I see what is right before people, I have to challenge that. Mm. And that is what we are standing for. We want to challenge the dynamic which is there. Mm. In some sense, we can see that that dynamic is, is corrupting, mm. is falling apart. Mm. And we cannot look at that and tolerate that. Mm. So 
whether they can think that we are wrong or whatever or whoever we are, we are living our our new being, mm. our lifestyle, and that is what we are made for. Mm. So I I cannot say I yearn to live good while I see people suffering. Yeah. I rather partake the suffering with the suffered mm. so that we enjoy that little happiness together. Indeed. We go for the quick break again and uh, return for the last part of the show. wrapping up our conversation with uh, Dave, uh, with Sam and uh, and uh, Eliphaz. Um, Eliphaz, the, mm -hmm. there's something that I don't understand. Um, as AR activists, you have done a lot. Um, I personally believe, and I could be wrong, I could be wrong completely, but I believe, for example, that uh, your activist in, in chief, uh, Jobam Panda, has done the most in recent years in his individual capacity than even people that have been mandated to do some of these things. Uh, you haven't always, um, as AR, you haven't always achieved your goals, but at least the spirit is there. We, we see what you're trying to do. Uh, um, but why is it that AR doesn't, um, of course, the 2020 elections, no, is it 20, yes. yeah, 2020 elections, it was um, an underwhelming performance by AR. Uh, I thought you would uh, get more seats, especially in the city council, given that you are most active in Winduk. Are you guys misunderstood? What What is it uh, that you think will convince people that uh, you mean business uh, or that you are genuine activists and not just uh, people seeking political relevance? Uh, well, you see, Trevor, we, we live in a democratic uh, society, yeah. you know, where people have got, you know, they, they take their own decision on mm -hmm. who that they really want to, you know, to, to vote for. Mm -hmm. And of course, um, that is the outcome of the elections. It shows that uh, People are people. Even if you do this much to them, uh, they take it as such. Of course, people tend to forget. People tend to move on. But that does not stop us from then saying, OK, fine, people did not vote for us. We should now fold uh, our hands and just let them live like that. Mm. Uh, we know we are supposed to, 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 to still respect their, uh, their, 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 their decision mm. uh, because, of course, uh, we are not doing this because tomorrow we should be voted. We are, we are doing this because we know that something must be done. And even if we are not mandated legally, even if we are not in a public office, if there is something that we have to do, mm. we should still be able to do it. We don't have to, 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 to be given an appointment letter for us to be able to carry out some of those, act some of those activities. But of course, we understand that uh, it's a long journey. We are learning from some of these um, uh, experiences, mm -hmm. and uh, it's for the first time that uh, uh, the affirmative position part participated in the election. And of course, to, to, to get to get two seats, mm -hmm. that's an achievement because you are coming from nothing mm -hmm. to something. Mm -hmm. So it's not necessarily that we, 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 are, 
we, we, we underperformed. No, no, mm -hmm. we, we gained something from nothing. Mm -hmm. So, and if you're looking, looking at other bigger political parties that have been there since independence, some of them even during the, the liberation struggle, but they could not even gain a single seat from, from, from this. It, it shows already that we, 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 we are growing, but of course we can't just then go up uh, just like that. Mm. It's, it should be an, a, a, a gradual, a gradual improvement, and of course we hope that uh, come uh, the next election, if we are still to participate, uh, there will be there will be some changes, and of course we know where we have where we where we have probably not um, done very well. Mm. We go back and see how we can be able to to make it much more stronger, so that our people continue to live happy. But even if we, even if what is happening. Uh, because certain things you must achieve even when, when you're not in office. Yes. So sometimes you just realize that, okay, fine, we know we can do more when we are, we are now the one making decision, but you are actually more powerful when you are on the side because you are able to still give ideas, mm. give suggestions to what has to be done, and uh, the country can still be able to go on. Indeed. Mm. Uh, Sam, in, in not so many words, because of time, uh, please uh, give us your final thoughts on this topic, uh, well, where to from now? Oh, my, get your reputation. Yeah, no, no, I'm just saying, you know, um, your final remarks. Okay. Yeah, um, that is what happened, and um, we, are, we are now here to say, um, that's a history to us, yeah. uh, written, and mm -hmm. our activists in chief said, their names will be written in gold, and we are proud of that. Mm -hmm. So we are continuing, and we are going to fight. Mm -hmm. So um, we, of course we are winning, we are, we are getting there. Mm -hmm. We just don't want to overspeed the vehicle, so we know our destination, mm -hmm. where we are going. Yeah. But then uh, we are gradually getting there, mm -hmm. and uh, one more thing that we can see that we are doing something and we are improving the community is because we see people coming to us, giving us feedback of what is happening. Mm. And that is good. And some, some of them, they sneak into our house saying, no, why can't you do this and this? And these are the people from other party, even from the ruling party, they are asking for our, for our advice. Mm. They come for a strategy, even to give strategy ideas to them. Mm. So it means that we are making an impact. So, yeah, yeah. and we, we, we have no fear. Yeah. One thing that is, um, we are to say, even to, to tell the, our fellow activists that, that wherever we are, we should not be fear. Mm. We should not have that fear. Whatever situation we are facing, mm we face it to the end, whether it will bring out other results. Mm -hmm. As long as the fight is for the right, the fight is for justice, the fight is for the true meaning of, of um, life freehood, mm -hmm. to live a good life. Indeed. Gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much, Evo. <laughs> I appreciate it. Great, great. Yeah, that was uh, tonight's show. Thank you for watching.